we're still talking about leading and God leading us by his Holy Spirit as we start the new year. Romans chapter 8 verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God or the daughters of God as well. The primary way that God leads his children is through his revealed word, through the Bible. But God also leads us through the Holy Spirit. Through the Bible, we get general guidance. We know what God wants us to do and what he doesn't want us to do. For example, the Bible generally tells us that God has good plans for us. He wants things to be well for us. He says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. So God has good plans for us. But then what are those specific good plans that God has for us? The good plans God has for me may be different from the good plans he has for you. So in the Bible, we know God has good plans for us. But the Holy Spirit is the one who now gives us specific direction as to what specific good plan God has for you every day, every week, every month, and every year. And that is why reading the Bible and cultivating a relationship with the Holy Spirit and staying close to him is very important. And one of the ways that the Holy Spirit leads us is what we call an inward witness. An inward witness is not a voice you hear, you're not going to hear something speaking into your ear, but it's something you feel inside of you. Some people call it intuition. Some people call it a gut feeling. Uh, but for the believer, it's not an in, just an intuition or a gut feeling, but it is some, an impression of the Holy Spirit within you. It's an inward message uh, that you have. And sometimes uh, when you're going to do something, that, that inward feeling makes you feel discomfort. You, it's almost as if you don't hear a voice, don't do it, but you just feel a certain discomfort about a decision you want to make, uh, some trip you want to take. When you feel those, if you're a child of God, take time to pray about them because it could be the Holy Spirit witnessing within you about something that he wants you to do. Now, if you want to hear a loud voice, you may not hear it, but every one of us has that inward witness of the Holy Spirit. Because if the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, he's going to nudge you. He's going to literally uh, tell you, don't do it or do it, and, and guide you from within. And then sometimes... Uh, you want to do something, uh, it may seem difficult, but inside you have a certain peace about it. It may seem very disturbing outside, but there is a calmness inside you. That is also, uh, or could be, an indication of the Holy Spirit within you. When you feel that, don't run to conclusion to say, oh, the Holy Spirit says everything is okay, but take time, ponder over it, pray about it, ask God for more clarity, and as you do that on a constant basis, you begin to develop spiritual alertness or spiritual sensitivity so that your choices, your decisions are guided by the Word of God and by the Holy Spirit who dwells inside of you. If you can learn these two, your decision making will have a higher accuracy than the normal human being and you would learn to do the right thing and walk in the path that God has for you in prayer. Let's pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I open my spirit to your Holy Spirit. Help me to follow your leading within me. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.